<laughs> Good morning from me and Jamesy. We are walking over to Christina's this morning. I want to get in the habit of taking him outside more during the day. And so today I thought, why not start our Friday with a stroll to hang out with the cousins? Don't hold back. We got pot belly. Have you ever had pot belly? I got an Italian. I'm so happy for you. And baked potato soup. Look at this big kid pushing off the ground like that. He's also making some monster noises. <laughs> you think yourself is funny looking? This this pup is in need of a belly rip, I think. Oh gosh. James and I are home now. We played I don't even know how many rounds of hide and seek at their apartment, and I forget how much I love hide and seek. And now we're back. And Peter, are you almost done with work? Soon. Friday? Soon. Soon. You got my jacket? You got me? We are headed over to Logan Square Park, right, Peter? Yep. For the vigil for Adam Toledo. I forgot to mention that me and James are matchy coordinated today with. Mickey's in black and white. You want the phone? You bugging? Oh gosh. Well, we failed. We learned a serious lesson. We decided to drive to the vigil instead of just take public transportation. Yeah. Traffic was horrible. They no were, parking. They were shutting down streets, turning other streets into one ways. Mm -hmm. And like Sarah, like, we didn't know exactly what was going to happen. We knew it was starting with the vigil. We heard they were gonna, it was going to turn into a march to the mayor's house or maybe downtown. So we kind of were like going to feel and see how we felt, but we really wanted to go to the vigil. But since it got to be a point where it was almost an hour after it started, I was like, by the time we find a parking spot at this point yeah, and get and there, walk. like any kind of prayers or speeches right. or the family. And it was a, there's the a lot vigil. of people. There's yeah. a lot, a lot of people. So we're bummed. So I was like, let's just scrap it because the intent was for us to go to the vigil and leave. Right. And I was going to like leave with them. Do you guys want me to take a picture? No, no thank you. We appreciate okay. it. Okay. <laughs> um, Gotta love that Midwest hospitality <laughs> i was gonna potentially march with everybody and then sarah and james are probably gonna leave yeah but since oh, he's here too hi but since the vigil is kind of missed i'm just we're just gonna go get some pizza or yeah. find, find some pizza yeah we haven't been to wicker park since we moved back so that's where we are tonight it's gonna go with the flow but we're bummed Second floor of Myopic Bookstore. We're not supposed to be photographed or filming in here. It's a famous Chicago bookstore and it looks like the Weasley's house. I still don't structurally understand this. There used to be a, there's a door right there, but also a door right there. And they're not on the same plane. See, it's like, it's like the Weasley's. Okay, so we're on Milwaukee Avenue, and this is actually the Doc Martens that Peter walked to. There's like a my big perfect wedding style restaurant right here. Ooh, not the one on South Fort. No. Close, but not really at all. If there was a Greek pavilion at Epcot, that would be the best. 
That's always my answer when people say if you could add one more. Yeah. Alrighty, our next stop is Reckless Records. Oh, never mind. So a lot of stuff around here is still closed or closed early. Yeah. Um, but we just went into a gallery that was really nice. It's called the, ja the Jackson Jung Gallery. Super fun. And what are we doing next? We're gonna walk towards the pizza joint that we placed a pickup photo for. <laughs> <laughs> that motorcycle that just woke up James. Oh no. It's called Peace is where we're getting. This is a fertility institute. I actually follow them on Instagram and I never knew that they were here. Okay, we're gonna go into one of our favorite Walgreens. It used to be a bank. So here? I don't know. Stop. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Pretty crazy. Yeah. So it was, it was a real bank. A legit bank. I feel like you're the one that always tells people about this place. I didn't know the vault was still here. You are awake now? We are not joking when we say that you can grocery shop in Walgreens in Chicago. So apparently when you live in a city and you do directions on your phone and say so you're walking. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like pizza. We walked past. We'll show you on the way back. This like really fancy pizza place. This isn't even the pizza we're getting right. tonight. Right. <laughs> so we'll have to get that fancy pizza place next time. So. But I it told us to walk down an alley. Yeah. We're going to see until our pizza is ready. Oh, there's a car coming. Um, House that looks like a gingerbread house. Yes. It's a mansion. Oh, and you have to walk down alleyways, cobblestone alleyways to get there. Okay, I had no idea houses, let alone beautiful mansions. There's a whole tour that I found online that I want us to do, but this one I just wanted to like come and see it real quick, but we'll have to come back. This is... This is insane. This is a house. Which like, one is insane, gives me like two by a dozen vibes. Yeah. But I would be more common out, might be more common out in the suburbs, but this is definitely not common downtown for that to be all one Wait, house. I think that's you think that's a gingerbread? Yeah, look at it. Oh yeah, let's cross the street. All right, so here's the famous gingerbread design house. You can see like the scallops on top. It definitely does look gingerbread-esque. Yeah. Here, I'll see if I can find what I... Wow. And it looks like there's all kinds of like fun stuff in their side yard. I bet this place looks amazing. Look at that woodwork. So designed and created in 1888 for notable German businessman, Hermann Weinhardt. Fun wow. fact, in the winters, they would flood the front yard for ice skating. Wow. Wow. Do you think they'll still do it? Maybe. I want to come here during Christmas time. Their side yard is Right oh. The street. That one. Oh, the Chief Bar Dozen House. Yeah. Um, this is the morbid history involved with this house as a prominent Polish businessman politician committed suicide in this house shortly after the stock market crash in 1929. After this incident, the house was used as a consulate for Poland. Alrighty, so here is where we're getting pizza from tonight. Picking it up. We actually didn't realize we have to come to this fancy window. Look inside the actual restaurant. We've eaten here once before, but not down there. But we got to come back soon yeah. and eat inside. Yeah. But we got our pizza. Yeah, we didn't think, we weren't sure where we were going tonight until tonight. And there is no reservation. Yeah, so we did it to go. <laughs> James, he doesn't know if he's happy or sad. Oh gosh. Alrighty, here is our pizza. It's gonna be spicy. Did you know that? The sausage is spicy. So this is the Hot Dogs Atomic Sausage Pizza, which I guess is a famous like it was like hot the dog. best hot dog in America mm -hmm. place, but it closed. Yeah. Just didn't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's spicy pepper jack cheese, caramelized onions, 
red sauce. Evie, can you believe it? Oh gosh. And so it is cold. It's warmer in the center because we drove home and then we had to find a parking spot. Yeah, we, we picked it, it was ready for pickup 55 minutes ago. Oh, this is two pieces. Was it good though? Is it spicy? It's really good and it's just the right amount of spicy. Good. Okay. I like the pepper jack cheese. I was a little bit iffy about it. Can't wait to devour it. Today, I thought to kick it off, since I didn't get up super early to run this, like run Disney, I thought I'd wait until nightfall because the 5K for run Disney events in person are always start and end pretty much. And it's probably it's probably about the temperature that we would have had. For Star Wars? Mm, maybe not. No. Maybe <laughs> marathon weekend. So I'm wrapping my ACS singlet. Yep. Because um, I ran, I was part of Team Determination for the 5K and 10K for today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's the Star Wars virtual weekend. Mm -hmm. This is like the official weekend. Tomorrow we're having more of a fun, special yeah. day. But 5K today, 10K, I didn't sign up for the half, but because of my 50 mile of training, I'm actually running 22 miles mm -hmm. on Sunday. Yeah, it's so kind of like a dopey weekend. <laughs> it is a little dopey-esque, especially because I'm being kind of foolish and it's 11 o'clock right now. So I'm going to mm -hmm. go run a quick 5K. And then I'm gonna go to bed, wake up, and get ready to run the 10K. Yeah. Early in the morning. Yeah. So I'm. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna watch Star Wars. Watch Star Wars, yeah. I've been having a feeling to watch Star Wars. And I'm repping Mickey Mouse for today. Yeah. I might rep an old Star Wars shirt tomorrow. Yeah. Let's do it. Jamesy boy, you're supposed to be at the start and finish line with me. All right, finished that one. First race of the weekend, being a 5K, did an easy pace. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually running with Jenna tomorrow for the 10K. I don't want to meet her. I'm game for running. I'll have to just talk to her. I also don't know her pace. She probably will outpace me. Um, but from the plans that she sent Sarah about the finish line fun, um, I think I can keep up with her. But we're also like taking photo ops along the way like it's run disney and then sunday sunday's just miles in time on the feet not about pace because it's going to be 22 miles i'm actually going to see the distance i might literally run to sarah's mom's house because we go there on sundays rather than drive or do like a three uh, over three hour run or whatever to delay us to go there we, sarah and i talked about when my miles, my Sunday long run get that big, we could probably do that. But I think it might be, she might be 22 miles away, or maybe it's 24. Um, so we'll see. I might just have to like take the train closer to downtown and then start from there. The 16th of April. Oh, we're on the next wall. That's always crazy. Anonymous states, life's roughest storms prove the strength of our anchors. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. We are headed to bed. I'm really excited for tomorrow. And tonight felt like just one of those extraordinary, ordinary nights. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>